Okay, here's where I'm at. I'll just try to take you through the model. I haven't closed up at all, uh, closed up the front faces yet, but just wanted to break this down and show you where I'm at. Let's get rid of the bike. Okay. These are one inches wide by three inches. These are two inches by three inches. All the aluminum will be 6061 T6, 1 gauge, 0.125 of an inch. The axle will be flexi, flexi ride, four and 25 pound half axles. And I'm planning on using back-to-back -back angle with another plate of aluminum underneath to make that thickness one quarter of an inch here. And then I'm going to mount the half axles and bolt them into this uh, mounting plate slash support beam. And the wheels are offset because the axles, uh, they're like trailing arms. The flexi rod spindles come out this way and then out that way. So my questions are, does this look like it's structurally sound? Is it overkill? The battery is going to be, the 11 kilowatt battery is going to be placed somewhere depending on where the center, center of gravity is. Um, I can put it closer to the front wheel. There's going to be a hub motor in the front wheel here. So I need to have sufficient weight on the front wheel to make sure there's always traction. So that's why I'm thinking about putting the battery so far forward. This battery, I estimate, will weigh 130 pounds, lithium ion battery, around 160 amp hours, 72 volts. So I can move this back, but just based on my prototype test, I understand that there needs to be sufficient weight on this wheel to maintain traction and good braking without it skidding during acceleration or braking, regenerative braking, braking. One problem I'm trying to think about is how to actually attach this front face that goes over the, uh, this main angled support. So one of the big questions structurally is, is this strong enough? Because when the vehicle brakes or accelerates, all the forces are going to be sort of on this joint here, this angle. And so I, I think this should be plenty of strength. The main rails are going to go right into these beams here, which are going to support the main beam here, connected here as well. And then I've just got a one inch square uh, connecting beam here, more just to create a face for the aluminum composite panel. So I'm planning on using aluminum ACM or aluminum composite panel, four, mil four millimeter thick for the sides and the, and the roof and the bottom. I'm going to cover the entire bottom and then I plan on also covering the battery and then I'll cut hinges or I'll cut, I'll make cutouts so that I can access the battery and the battery charger and some extra storage back here as needed. But yeah, it's coming along. I'm not sure about the fenders. I think since it's angular, it just looks cool to go with an angle, angled fender cutout. The wheels are inset so that I can maintain a 36 inch width plus eight millimeters for the thickness of the siding of the ACM panels. Um, and I've inset the wheels only because I want to be able to ride on bike paths and trails as much as possible. And if I mounted the wheels on the outside, then I'm getting close to four feet wide. So I really wanted to keep it closer to 36 inches. And so I'm planning on insetting the wheels, which does mean a narrower uh, wheelbase. 
but I think it should be stable with the weight and the longer wheelbase. I think that should be just fine. But I'm open to suggestions. The wheels will be, uh, these wheels will be cat trike wheels, 20 inch OEM cat trike wheels. They come with a 20 inch y, uh, diameter through axle. And I'm gonna machine down the flexi ride spindle to 20 millimeters. My local machine shop said it's possible. And so I will use um, the full diameter. So that should be plenty strong for my purposes. I've done some calculations. The weight on this thing will be uh, between 350 and 400 pounds. The axles are rated for 425 pounds. So yeah. Next planning will be the frame, the, like the skeleton, the walls, the ceiling, and I think through the wiring. And then I think I'm ready to start building these initial frame pieces. I'll build it, I'll build this box first, then this one, and then I'll connect them here. I think I will put lots of uh, gussets in the various corners to make the frame extra strong and stiff, but definitely open to suggestions and feedback. Always welcome. I am not an engineer. I'm just a guy with an obsession to make this happen and bring it to life. So I think that covers it. All right.